Hello, I'm Mark Baer. I'm the director of the Museum of Monterey. We are shooting in the museum. Um, the word muse has many meanings, but one of them is, ta is to beam down inspiration. Uh, and I'm here with my good friend, Jose Ortiz, and we are trying to conjure up a show that we're trying to do. And again, to, to put on a show in a museum, it, it requires funding, it requires labor, uh, it's, it requires dreaming, and uh, Jose is one of the most magical people I've met in my experience here, and I want to do this. So again, uh, we're here today just to, if, if we talk enough, we may be able to make this real. So anyway, yeah. introduce yourself. <laughs> I'll just say hello. Yes. Okay, then um, my name is Jose Ortiz, and I'm an illustrator. I've been an illustrator since the young age of five, and I'm here with you, Mark. And okay, so you're also a, a muralist. You're deep into the muralist tradition. Yes. Your, um, your work is all around the county at this point. Uh, I was here a few weeks ago with Paulette Lynch, again, giving a shout out to you as one of the people who are doing the most inspirational work here. One of the ideas that you and I have talked about for a long time is the idea of hijos del sol and the idea of what the first generation experience is like and what it looks like and why it's so important to America. And let, let's yeah. expound on that a bit. Yeah, well, Hijos del Sol or, or Children of the Sun in English, um, yes. it's got a lot of you know, thought, deep thought. It's about your surroundings. It's about being you, what's inside of you, what's outside of you. It's about being part of the whole what we call the Cosmos movement, and how we contribute to this great earth and how we can be more aware of each other as humans and as you know, any, any living matter for that. What is the story as you see it? The story of Hijos del Sol is ancient. You know, nobody really knows. It's, it's Mayan history. It's, it's Maya meaning the beginning, you know, who knows when the beginning was. But, you know, it, it's about being aware that you, we're all sharing this planet. It's, we're all sharing these this, um, elements that, and the resources that Mother Earth, we call our mother ship, which helps us travel around the sun, you know, 365 days out of the year. And, and how we are now part of this vehicle that is taking us in this journey and and how we can navigate and contribute and and help out we all have a task we all have a task everyone is significant is from the smallest to the to the biggest and we just need to uh assess and and, and know what our task is and by, maybe all through life we, we we try to do that as illustrators as painters uh, we try to convey that story. It's, in a sto it's a story that hasn't been really, you know, told very much. And it's not a very attractive story sometimes because it means to be aware of not only the favorable, but also the unfavorable situations of humanity, of the planet, of everything, even of oneself. So um, how we can convey that with our work so that we can speak out to the world and, and let them know that we're all in somehow in, in, in this planet sharing it. So the power, the power of imagery on a wall. Yes. And that tradition. Let's yes, yes, let, let the walls talk. You know, it's sometimes, you know, I've been asked, you know, how do you come up with the imagery for the walls? And I go, you know, sometimes maybe the wall is dictating me what, what must be there because the walls are inhabited. They have spirit, you know, they have souls. And, you know, like in your walls here, the walls here, they, they talk. Every time I come in and it, it's, I get lost in it. And because probably it could be like, like church will be maybe to a Christian person. Because this is where I, where I can meditate and I can talk. I can think about the people showing the work and even the architecture and 
all the uh, ambient that goes on here and what it says. It's many, many, many stories. People have come through here. Just one painter on it, or one exhibitor, you know, tells a lot, you know. So when I look at a painting, it's interesting to watch the, the brush strokes, which is hundreds, millions of them probably. But you know, he talks, he speaks, so, so the walls do that to me. And I guess maybe I'm sensitive in a way. And again, you're, you're part of a, a, a great tradition, uh, the, the Diego Rivera tradition. Oh, yeah. uh, the, um, that you're speaking directly to a community and a community is speaking to you and you're, you put yourself in the middle. You're a listener, is, is, yes. as, as you've described yourself. Yes, uh, it, it takes a lot of, you know, using your senses and mostly it's listening and, 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 and observations also, you know, it's, and how we can then transmit that. I, I don't know if I am capable as a person, but I, you know, I don't really call myself a muralist just yet, but I think, I, I think that um, we're moving towards that. We're, we're going to maybe someday share something with the world that, that will be very significant and that will then speak beyond our time, beyond our ages, beyond our eras. And it will speak to future generations about what went on on 2014, what went on on our time, on our era. So, Hijos del Sol, another um, aspect of this is the first generation immigrant experience here. And again, uh, this is a important debate that we want to be having in this museum. This is an important debate that we want to be having in the country. And one of the things that you show is how valuable the people that come in with the new eyes and the new aspirations and the uh, new strivings, what they contribute to a society and how these people wake up people who have been living in a, in a, in a, in a culture for a long time where they're no longer able to see it. You know, I, I, I think that the concept of, uh, of consciousness, of being aware, it's, it's, it's ageless. It's, it's beyond ourselves. It's, it has no time or space. I think, you know, there's no time for that. There, there's always just, you know, those little moments that will then create this bigger picture. Um, you know, I, I believe that a person can be mature at any age. And you are the same person that you were born until the day you cease. And that in itself already doesn't, doesn't lock you in, doesn't, doesn't limit you. And like your ability to think and to create and to feel. So, so that, that should be ageless. Because I've known people that are older and they feel as young. And, you know, so, so they, the idea of, of children of the sun, it's ageless. It's, it's beyond our, you know, our, probably our history, I used to say, I don't know. But if we want to convey this to the world, I think it'll fit in every era. So just on a practical level, uh -huh. um, okay, we, again, as you know how we work here with, with limited, almost no budgets, uh, we have to figure out how to do this with the maximum impact on the, with the biggest production value, um, with, uh, you know, that's actually doable. Um, how are we thinking? Let's, let's just kind of think how we might use this space. One of, the, one of the ideas I had is that you kind of direct, you become, rather than the, the, the chief uh, uh, painter, that you uh, direct a group of other artists and we do something live just right on canvas that we, we convey this theme. Um, what, what's your thoughts about that? Well, I've, I've explored different situations. You know, I've thought different you know, ways that we can convey it. 
And one, one of my ideas is to uh, actually to make a call out to illustrators, painters, who, who, who have the same concept of being able to, to, to transmit the, uh, the same idea of, of, of coexisting, of, of sharing, and the importance that, that we all hold, that we, everything does, you know, to find people that think that way and, and, and maybe create something that will then really speak out. More, you know, murals are just, just they got to be beyond just one person. Right. I believe so. And then it's not just me, it's, it's, it's everything and it's everyone. And, and if we can, you know, um, put into conducted or conducted in that manner, I think it'll, it'll speak. So again, I want to tell the viewer out here, um, if you're interested in, to, in contributing to such a project uh, and seeing this project manifest, just contact me directly, Mark Baer, at uh, the Museum of Monterey .org, uh, or call us on the telephone, or I'm not hard to find. Uh, let's discuss this because I, uh, again, as I was telling Paulette Lynch, of I, t I s talk to lots and lots of people in this uh, that come through this museum, and of all the projects that I've been dealing with, uh, I'm really committed to seeing this one because I think it has so many levels of of possibility to it. It's it got importance because of a, a, a an immigration conversation. It's got importance because of the sheer magic of it. It's got importance because of the sheer beauty of it, mm -hmm. and it's been. Uh, you're something of a, of a wizard, and uh, it's, uh, uh, I want to see the work here. You'll make me look good. Uh, yes. <laughs> no, you'll probably make me look good. Yeah, we need to make uh, so any, any last thoughts here, Jose? I just want to say that, you know, that, that we are so much more similar as people than we are different. And differences are everywhere. And we know them when we look at a mirror. It's sometimes even you know, in our own families, we're sort of different. But... The similarities that we share are intense, you know, they're, they're very important. And if we can put that on, on a canvas or on a wall, and people can see each other as equals and, and as important, everything's important, everything's significant, then I think, I think we're onto something, yeah. My guest, Jose Ortiz, this is Mark Baer, you've been watching Muse, and let's make this happen. Ha, ha, ha.